February the 17th. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations or trials, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. James chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. For patience when the rough winds blow, for patience when our hopes are fading, when visible things all backward go, and nowhere seems the power of aiding, God still unfolds thee with his viewless hand, and leads thee surely to the fatherland. N. L. Frothingham from the German. We have need of patience with ourselves and with others, with those below and those above us, and with our own equals, with those who love us and those who love us not. For the greatest things and for the least, against sudden inroads of trouble and under daily burdens, disappointments as to the weather or the breaking of the heart, in the weariness of the body or the worrying of the soul, in our own failure of duty or others' failure toward us, in everyday wants or in the aching of sickness or the decay of old age, in disappointment, bereavement, losses, injuries, reproaches, in heaviness of the heart or its sickness amid delayed hopes, in all these things from childhood's little troubles to the martyr's sufferings, patience is the grace of God, whereby we endure evil for the love of God. E.B. Puse. And the fact that we, you know, go through life steadfastly does not mean that we, you know, excuse evil or that we don't um, hate the evil within our hearts or speak against it. Um, and it matters not what gender you put on the material world, except to some degree we use that to refer to different things symbolically.